Hey, it's your girl Bianca Bonnie from Love and Hip Hop New York. You already know I'm rocking with real fans, real talk. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Marie here, and I'm with the beautiful and gorgeous Miss Bianca Bonnie. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Oh, well, wow. so <laughs> nice to finally meet you. Definitely. So you are a singer, rapper, songwriter, designer, business owner, and actress. Yes. Is it the Harlem Hustle? Like you, you got a lot going on. I mean, I get it how I live. <laughs> Now we are here, um, you know, rehearsing for the play The Defiled Bed 2. Mm -hmm. What got you into this play? It was just an opportunity that was given to me, so I was like, Shh, I'm gonna take it. Like, I never did this kind of, you know, play, or I, it was just like a different element to me. Yeah. And I always try to go outside the box. I mean, you only live once, yeah. so you might as well try different things. And I'm good at acting, so yeah. it's like, why not? And, you know, for doing a live theater play, there's a certain level of vulnerability that mm -hmm. you have to have to captivate an audience that you don't, you know, necessarily have when you are having the opportunity to, you know, record a movie. Right. How challenging was that? I mean, this this is going to be challenging because I'm new to it, yeah. but I mean, I accept all challenges, yeah. like, you know. It's, it's just whatever, I'm just down to get it done and just see how it come out. Okay. You either love it or hate it, yeah. but... They can love it. All right, and tell us a little bit about who your character is and just, you know, what did you have to do to prepare to get into this role? So my character is Zoya, and as, right now I don't have makeup on at all, like bare face, and I guess I'm getting prepared because my character is bare face, like she's in jail, and so I'm gonna have on an orange jumpsuit, like really gel gel, and um, yeah, it's just like basically a different element because when I'm always glammed up and I'm always, you know, playing a part of superstar role, this is just like a totally different mm -hmm. thing. And it probably helps you get into character, just being like makeup off, yeah. just completely vulnerable. Mm -hmm. That's literally the depiction of what you're going to have to play in her Absolutely. character. Absolutely. So uh, Trevi Perche, I mean, she's a director known to do faith-based um, films. Mm -hmm. How is that component with kind of her faith and her wanting to display the love of God and, you know, praying for <laughs> her? So how is that? Well, I mean, I, I just really like I it's crazy because my whole life I never went to church like as a kid my parents didn't really bring me like they had their own they they time when they went to church or whatever but as me, me growing up I never was in church at all so when I moved to Miami like two years ago I started going to Vu church and it's just so crazy because I'm like now that I'm really into God and yeah. into the Bible and into knowing about it yeah. that I get to do this play awesome. so it just feels like it it makes sense you know it connects his, his timing, timing. Mm -hmm. he speaks in one voice that's a fact that's awesome. all right so tell us what else you have going on um business adventures I think you should have a video to celebration yeah <laughs> I have so much going on right now. Celebration video just dropped. Um, me and DJ Websaw are actually revamping a record that we came out with called Get This Work, and we're doing a Get This Work challenge because um, this boy band, BTS, from Korea remade the Chicken Noodle Soup song. So I made the record Chicken Noodle Soup, and it's been 14 years since the record came out, and they just remade it like with the artist Becky G. So it's been a crazy, like, phenomenon. phenomenon. I was on... They made me go viral on Twitter, number no. one, for like three days in a row. So it's just been crazy. Like the internet's been going really crazy and they like recreated the whole chicken noodle soup thing. So it's just like, it's it's a legendary song that's timeless, that yeah. will never die. So we're getting into doing more dance songs for the culture and you know, for the kids and stuff like that. So just working, grinding. So you beat me to it because I was just about to get into that, but you trending globally and you, yeah. you kind of downplayed it right now. So I'm going to say it to my viewers real quick, give them a little history <laughs> for those that live under a rock. So Chicken Noodle Soup came out in 2006. Yeah. How does it feel to have a song that is transcending generations? Because, you know, as she mentioned, um, J-Hope and Becky G remixed it. Mm -hmm. Not only did they remake it, they remade it in a Korean and Spanish version. Yeah. So with, you know, music has always been that one global language. How does that feel? It's crazy. Yeah. A, writer, a writer from Billboard just wrote me this morning and was like, oh, can I get on a call with you? We want to do an interview with you. And awesome. I'm like, Billboard? Like, yeah. that's crazy. It's just crazy. I mean, the song is just timeless and it won't ever die. So that's what's, it's, a, it's amazing to me because I'm like, it's 14 years old. Like I was 14 when I did the record. You know what I'm saying? 14 years ago. That's crazy that it's still being reinvented and it's still out and people still even 
care about it. Like, yeah. that doesn't happen. And a lot of, um, I think, new artists now, this generation of music is really different and it's changing, but I don't think a lot of people can say that they have a legendary hit. That you could that, read, that yes. somebody's redone 14 years ago and it came out. Because, listen, my nephew is seven and he heard it, the remix, I was playing it. And the fact that he's even singing, it's like weird seeing, looking at him. Like, you weren't he wasn't even born. born. Yeah. Like, this is my, you know, childhood memory, summertime mm-hmm. vibe in New York. Mm-hmm. So completely different. Um, that's yeah, awesome. So. I'm so proud of you for even, you know, doing this play. It just it shows just how you are multifaceted. Yeah. For sure. Thank um, you. <laughs> quick question. I hate when people ask other, you know, female MCs to compare and all that because they don't ask it to men. So I'm right. going to ask you that. Right. But I do want to know your top three. Who's in your headphones right now? Other MC women right now? Because the game mm-hmm. is definitely changing. Honestly, I could never say a top three or a top five when yeah. people always ask, oh, it's just after your top mm-hmm. five. I listen to a bunch of everybody. Yeah. Like when I'm in album mode or recording, I kind of listen to nothing because you don't want to sound like somebody. Like if you yeah. listen to a lot of somebody, you'll start mimicking like yeah. this sound. It's not like you're trying to do it, but it's like, like, that's just what happened. So, I mean, I listen to Drake. That's my number one artist. Like, I listen to him a lot. Like, I listen to every album just over and over all the time. Um, I listen. No <laughs> D does no wrong. I listen to Missy. Um, her new album is dope that she came out with. Um, she actually wrote me on Twitter like three days ago. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. crazy. Um, yeah, I just listen to a bunch of everybody. Uh, Cardi B stuff. Yeah. Uh, female, uh, the female artist Remy Ma. That's oh. my sis. Yeah. Um, Little Kim is coming out with a new album. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I listen to a bunch of everybody. It's never just like, oh, I'm just listening to one thing, you know. Okay, Bianca. So <laughs> what is the ultimate message that you? want viewers to take from this play i hope all of you is love and enjoy the play and every bit of it not just because i'm in it i mean (laughs) but um yeah i guess you know the message is just like god is good all the time and it's really it's it's a lot of different messages in the play like i was just reading because i just started rehearsing and stuff for my part but as i'm reading it and and seeing everybody's parts it's like whoa this is really a dope this is a dope play overall yeah it's levels to it it's really gonna be dope well, I'm super excited. I know it comes out December 7th. Yeah, everybody, y'all better come see this play in tickets. December. Get your tickets now in Atlanta. Yes. It's going to be crazy. Oh, thank you so much. Thank it's you for having me. It's yeah. Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought.